thing. Silence! I want silence out here. I am the creator. You see, some men live by violence, others die by it. I create violence. I have brought violence to a new dimension, to a new realm in the form of Cactus Jack. Okay. Okay, here we go. Chris Cruz here ringside for Rumble 2. It's Looney Tunes time, and uh, another person who'd feel just fine. That's the creator yelling at us, and another uh, fella, Dr. Mark Curtis, who knows what Looney Tunes is all about. And Dr. Curtis, you claim to be a psychiatrist. What's this nutcase, Morgus the Maniac, all about? I'm not really sure there, Crispy Cruiser. What happens is here is we got this Morgus the Maniac. We got one Maniac against another Maniac. And I noticed before the match, I don't know if you did or not, but there seems to be some tension between the creator and Cactus Jack, but it looks like action's getting started right off the bat. All right, as a, that's a forearm. That's an actual legal wrestling blow from Cactus Jack. One of the few I think we're going to see is a creator harassing the people here at ringside. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can hear him. Well, I'll tell you what, Crispy. Cactus Jack is just taking it to him, rubbing his eyes across the top rope. I don't know if that would uh, hinder this maniac or not. Because, you know, people in mental institutions, they're used to banging their heads off the walls. And in Morgus's case, I hear that he tore down all the rubber and the rubber's room, and he's just banging his head off the concrete. Oh, oh, good Lord. Talk about taking the action into your living room. Good night. You can hear that. That's a creator. What book is that, Dr. Curtis? I think that's the book of the creator's wisdom as far as how to win, cheat, do anything that you can, when if you must, type of wrestling that he's passed on to Cactus Jack. Your kind of book, huh? Well, I don't know about that. I play things by a different kind of book because, as you know, I'm the master. I'm the master of disasters, and I have a degree in psychoanalytical BS. And that's what Dr. Mark Curtis is all about. A double oh. clothesline there, and Maniac and uh, Cactus Jack both go down on their heads. Probably the one place you can't really hurt these guys. But Cactus seems to have gotten up a lot quicker than Morgus did, although Morgus is scratching his head trying to figure out Cactus Jack. And all the years I've known Cactus Jack, you just can't quite figure him out. So maybe the creator has i don't know the creator uh looks to be as concerned about your appearance here ringside dr curtis as he is concerned about cactus jack or fred the elephant boy you'll be here dr curtis a little bit later in the program managing jerry the king lawler to take on sweet stan lane and manager jim Cornette. a very unique mixed tag team event what a nutcase who uh jim Cornette? yeah i agree i beg your pardon I don't know, Crispy, here we go. We've been happy to note, frankly, that Cactus Jack is technically no longer an independent wrestler. He may, just may, without a verification, have signed with World Championship Wrestling, and that's a great, great moment in professional wrestling. Well, I tell you what about Cactus Jack, he's one of the luckiest people around, because in the past month, Cactus Jack has worked for most of the major federations of wrestling. He's wrestled in Philadelphia. He's wrestled for this global group. He's now signed with WCW. He's here tonight for the WWA. The man, he's in demand all over the world, not only in Japan, not only in the United States, but in the Philippines and all the world around, Crispy Cruiser. And they are right above us here as Cactus is laying them in. A snap man. Oh, and he's got a smother. Oh, okay. There are a few thousand fans here. I can't give you an exact count. We are here at the Camden County Community College in Blackwood, New Jersey. And it's a hot time in the old town tonight. Crispy Cruiser sitting here sweating his uh, eyebrows off. And I'm sitting here. I'm wearing a doctor's jacket and I'm sweating. He's checking him. Uh, I, 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 almost, almost. I don't know, a little bit of uh, background facts here. I wonder if you know that I was Cactus Jack's original manager. Now, you know that's not true. Yes, it is. I've never heard that before. No. It's absolutely true. You can ask the man from truth or consequences yourself. 
That's going back in the old days. And what happened? And I'll tell you what, whenever Cactus tells the fans that whenever he puts, that when he was in college, that he would put a girl, drunk as she may be, on the bed. Now be careful here. And most people would take advantage of the girl. You know what Cactus took advantage of? No. He dropped an elbow on her. That's the type of man Cactus Jack is. They're going out on the floor here, oh, folks. Oh, no. Vargas, the maniac, goes outside. Fans, oh. if you don't hear us for a few seconds, it's only because oh, a chair, we're a chair, running away. Just be a chair. Oh, no. Cactus, what do you say about that? He clocked Vargas, and he oh. still got the chair. Oh, no, he's going to do it again, Chris. He's, he's going to do it again. Just a couple of feet away from oh, us. Oh, in the head. Look, look, I did face him. Look, he's laughing at him. Oh, good. He's just taking a page out of Cactus's a headbutt. This man is truly a maniac. I don't know what to say. The creator is beside himself. He doesn't know what to do. Battle of the two hardest hits in wrestling. Up. Uh a whipping clothesline. It looks like Morgus had so much momentum, he went into the ropes himself and may have done some damage. Now another Irish whip into the ropes, and Cactus goes across. Oh. Morgus got uh -oh. set too quickly. Uh-oh. There we go. Morgus was escorted Pick to the ring by his hair. doctor and his nurse in a straitjacket. Uh, oh, no, Chris. I think we better move. You know what's going to happen. Thank you, so Chris. So many times Cactus has yes. run over. Oh. Fans, as we said, they are awful close here to ringside. And if we oh, move, oh. if you don't hear us. Wait a second, wait a second. Look, there's some dissension in the ranks here. The creator and Cactus Jack having not just words, but exchanging blows. Oh, he's got that book, he's got that book. Wait a minute. Wait, he turned his back on him. I don't really know what happened there, but Morgus just, it, just I don't. It's crazy. Morgus just cactus turned his back. And look. Wait a minute. But think about it, Crispy. Think about it. Would I these don't think two, I want to. Would these two make a great tag team? I think it'd be scary how great a tag team they'd make. Oh, boy. The creator's in a bad way. Uh -oh. Here we go. Double underhook. Go. Oh, a modified version of the DDD hook both arms. This could be it. Here comes Faye. That's it. Looked like a chicken wing suplex or a double underhook uh, takeover. And he just dropped him straight down in a DDT type matter. It's incredible. I've oh. never seen that before, Crispy, and I've been around. All right, Dr. Curtis, this is going to be interesting now. The creator in to uh, congratulate his man, Cactus Jack. Let's uh, go up to ringside and in the inside the ring and see what's happening. I don't know, Crispy. Looks, look, they're shaking hands. Okay. All right. I guess things are all right between the two. Whoa! I guess they're not. Oh, my. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you, Crispy, I hate to say that I'm sad that that happened, but I'm not. I can't imagine. Wait a minute. Cactus with that crazy oh, no. look on his face. He's coming towards us. Look out. He's threatening to clock. The creator with a chair. That's not wood or metal. It's very, very hard plastic. Uh-oh. The Acme Moving Service. You got chairs, Cactus will move them. Well, it looks like Cactus has had enough, but you can never tell what he's until he's far away from ringside here. We're at Rumble 2 from the Camden County Community College. We're looking at the creator, Chris Cruz, here accompanied by Dr. Martin Curtis Ringside. That's right.